hello and welcome to my channel please like share and subscribe if you like this video and thank you all so much for watching thank you thank you thank you to my day ones twos and threes thank you to all my new subscribers that's coming in that means well thank you so very much i appreciate you all and welcome 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 this video is for entertainment and educational purposes only so everything is alleged some it's not and the fair act use is in my description box y'all so let's get to it y'all let's get to it so everybody is on social media right now talking about diddy saying that he will not eat y'all this is what they're saying they're talking about his kids and how quincy i believe quincy which is not even his child okay y'all but his son by another father <laughs> Lord have mercy. He put up a letter, y'all. And this letter, he is talking about how everybody is lying on his mama and his daddy. Okay, y'all? And to be honest with y'all, I told y'all that Diddy Little Drip Drops was going to be something wrong with them. That they are in denial and that they have lived this lavish, just pretty, just out, right, crazy lifestyle. That... They were going to be messed up too. I told y'all this. I told y'all. I told y'all. I told y'all. Something going to be wrong with them kids too. It can't help but be something wrong with them. You talking about a daddy. A step daddy. That was messed up. And a daddy that was messed up to the ones that is his kids. um, That are his kids. And then you're talking about a mama that was some screws missing too. Because he didn't. No disrespect to Kim Porter, but Kim Porter had little screws missing, y'all. For to even want to be with this man in that way. For the night, just head up. Y'all, I would have been gone. He would not have known where I was. Seriously. There's no way that... You know, of course, he was going to probably go to her mom and daddy, like, where she at? This and that, that and this. But I would have had enough money to go stay somewhere. And he would have not known where I was, y'all. Ain't no way. I would have been around this man. Ain't no way I would have kept having babies by this monster. Okay, y'all. It was some stuff wrong with Kim, too. It really was. The fact that she didn't put her own camera up and record him doing the things that he was doing to her and take it to the police just in case they didn't believe her. And, and she, she could have released it to the public first and then took it to the police station. So it, just in case they were paid off, the, the, the images and the proof would have already been out there, y'all. They would have already been out there. So it ain't no way I could have stood back and, and, and dealt with Diddy like that. So it had to be some stuff wrong with her, too. And the kid, y'all think the kid's not going to be messed up from this? You are talking about people that was, you know, doing stuff that they weren't supposed to be doing when their kids was growing up. Not when they got to a, the adult age, but they were, he was out here just partying it with his own kids and doing stuff with them when they, before they was even of age. Word on the street, y'all. So y'all think that way? These are very pivotal times in your life when you're growing up and going through pu puberty and all of that stuff and getting to know your body and this and that and that and this and you're around somebody like this is confusing y'all because he didn't even know what he wanted to be or who he wanted to be with puffy was out here just wowing it's just like usher said he said he went to those parties y'all but he said he couldn't understand what he was looking at he didn't understand it. He was just too young to even be at those parties. And these kids are going to be messed up, like it or not. Like it or not, they're going to be messed up. So everybody's running around here now on social media talking about the letter that he wrote, talking about this was not his mom and daddy lifestyle. Your mother's lifestyle was she was abused. She had to put paws up on a daily basis to protect herself from this monster like it or not and the fact that didn't i just tell y'all this the other day i said this the other day i said this is going to prove you know if them kids going to be any good or not and now you see 
He not only messed up his kids, but he messed up other people's kids too. Poe Al be sure. I, I don't even know what to say. He got to sit back and watch his son be a crash dummy on social media for, for P. Diddy. And he's trying his best to have some type of relationship with his son. And his son is running full speed in defense of Puffy, y'all. That child is messed up too. And to be honest with y'all, I think, I'm just, this is my personal opinion. If he did this stuff to Usher, if he did this stuff to um, Justin Bieber, you think that Puffy didn't do anything to fan, fan, fan Quincy? He ain't even his real child. So if you think for one minute, I ain't saying he did, but... Uh, don't think that ain't cross people mad. And that could be why he's messed up in the head too. He is defending Puffy at all costs. Even though allegedly, allegedly, allegedly. He, all the information is coming out about what he did to Kim Porter. That even if he didn't take Kim Porter out. He stayed putting bruises on her and everything else. This is what he did to Quincy's mother. And he's sitting up here still in La La Land, y'all. Them kids need some counseling. And, and, and the tripped out part is he's sitting in jail right now, word on the street, he's not eating because he thinks somebody's going to slip something to him. You mean like you slip stuff to other people? How ironic that you are in the same position that you had other people in, except you in jail and they were at your parties. If you can slip stuff in other people's stuff when they was at your parties, now you scared out of your mind to eat? Are you serious? Y'all, I, I can't believe the stuff that's coming out right now. And half of the people that's acting like, oh, poor Diddy, maybe if the, the, he started, you know, admitting what he did, they might go easy on him. Really, y'all? Really? Because if you ask me, this is just my personal opinion, and I'm going to just throw it out there. Diddy, he's a special kind of person, y'all. He's very, very special. Okay? And I think that, to be honest with y'all, they just ain't fixing his food right. That's my personal opinion. They are not fixing his food the way he want them to fix his food. This is my opinion, y'all. And I'm just going to say it how I say it, okay? They have a certain amount of supplies that they have around that jail. They do. And they're not going to have, you know, boatloads of stuff like he could get to it when he was at home. Diddy is special. You know how we cook some bacon? We get the oil off the bacon. Before we eat it. Puffy likes to keep the oil on his bacon, y'all. Okay? He likes to, you know, use that extra oil for other things. He's an oil man. Okay, y'all? So when y'all in that jail fixing his bacon, just pull the grease to the side. He likes to sprinkle it on other things. Okay, y'all? You know how we, you know, Save oil or throw oil away. Just pour it in the can. That's all you got to do. Pour it in this little can after he done ate some of his canned goods and stuff like that. And give it to him. He'll be just fine. Just give him a little oil. Long as he got some oil around him, that is going to make his day. Okay? He is going to cheer up like you wouldn't believe. All right, y'all? That's all you got to do. Pour that oil that you ain't going to use no more. In the can and give it to him. And he'd be just fine in the jail. I'm telling y'all. You know how we have our fries and we put out the ketchup. Either to the side or we put the ketchup on it. See when he eat his fries. He want to pour a little, a little oil on it y'all. He don't like ketchup. He want to pour oil on it. If you don't want to pour it on his fries. Just sit it in a little cup to the side. That's all you got to do. Just like this. And he'll be just fine. That's all he's doing is having withdrawals from that oil he needed. He needs it to survive, y'all. Okay? Now, let's get to some other things that's going on in that jail. Okay? Now, before the end, all, all you got to do is treat him like the 10 man. 
The Tin Man, if you think about Diddy as the Tin Man on the Wiz, okay? Slide a little oil to him, he'd be just fine, okay, y'all? If you ain't have no, you know, Chris Go would do just fine. That's all you got to do. And he will be a-okay. All right, y'all? Um, now, let's get to some other stuff that they're saying that's going on in the jail right now. Everywhere Diddy goes, he is causing chaos, y'all. This is what they're saying now. They are saying that the jail, the people in the jail is in an uproar right now to get to Diddy right now. And word on the street is the reason why they're trying to get to Diddy is a particular picture was leaked in the jail. And everybody saw it and they standing in line right now to get to Diddy. So they had to lock them down. Word on the street. This is what they had to do. They had to lock him down. This picture. This picture is floating around the prison, y'all. This is what they're saying. And everybody is in an uproar right now, y'all. They're not taking calls from their girlfriends, their wives, none of that stuff, okay? They don't even want each other anymore. Everybody right now is standing in line to get to Diddy because they did not know he had the capabilities. Is that, you know, I'm just saying, y'all, word on the street. They are they're gonna have to move him again. They are going to have to move him again, and they are going to have to burn that picture. Because once you let a picture like that loose in the prison system, they can't get it out of their head, y'all. So all I can say is, y'all, tell your inmate friends, tell the people that's locked up that you know, no diddy, no diddy. Packages allegedly comes with that mingle tinkle session okay y'all so um just warn your loved ones that's up in there just stay away from diddy no diddy y'all okay anyway please like share and subscribe if you like the video and thanks for watching y'all peace i had to take a little break y'all from Dolph's case i had to take a little break you know it's, it's a dragon today so i just had to take a little break and do a video because other people was posting oh diddy ain't eating so what so what okay who cares? Because we don't. We could care less if he eat or not, to be honest with y'all. Because he didn't care if other people ate. Didn't Dawn just put a video out? Did she just put out paperwork and everything saying that he ate in front of her? So who cares, y'all? Please, stop babying Diddy, because I, I can't with this. All right, y'all? Anyway, peace.